Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 69 in chapter 7. In this chapter, we talk about work and energy. There, I suggest you to draw a picture to think out what happens. You can see we have the elevator cap, and then we consider it's an object, right? It falls down, do the free fall body work, and then, luckily, there is a very strong spring attached to the ground. So this object just contact with this spring, which is to, to the velocity v2, and the free fall body distance is 22.5 meter. And this velocity we don't know, so we need to think out. And then the object keep moving down and compress this spring. Finally, it reaches to stationary. The velocity v3 is zero, comes to zero, it reaches to stationary and this spring is compressed. And there, the distance it moved at the power 2, we consider it as x. So this is what it happened. The first one, we need to find the work done by gravity on this object. See, there, the work done by gravity by, uh, before it hit the spring. So this is the distance it moved, d, right? This, this distance is given. And also, the mass is given. So very easily, we can find the gravity. The work done by the gravity before the hit the spring is mgd, no power, very easy. The second one asks you to find the speed before it uh, hit the spring. So this is the v2. We need to find the v2. There is a very typical application about work energy principle. You can see the initial velocity is zero, so initial kinetic energy is zero. And finally, the kinetic energy is one half mv2 squared. And the work, the network act on this object is just due to the gravity, right? So this one, the change of kinetic energy equals the network act on this object. So final uh, kinetic energy, one half mv2 square minus initial kinetic energy, one half mv1 square equals the network. And there, v1 is zero. So in this case, we can very easily get the v2 equals squared to gd. You can say g is a constant, d is given. So you can very easily find the v2. The next one, sq find the amount the spring compressed. So this is we need to find x. Agree? And the most easy way is we still do the application about work energy principle. You can see initially it is zero, finally it is zero. So the change of the kinetic energy from the v1 to v3. This is a one half mv3 square minus one half mv1 square. Both of the v1 and v3 is zero. So this change of the kinetic energy is zero. That means it should equal to the network. So the network should be what? Should be equal to the gravity and the springs kinetic energy, springs elastic energy. Agree? So in this one, we can say what work do, what force do the work? First one is gravity. The gravity do the work is mg times d plus x. No problem, because the gravity pointing down, the distance is also pointing down. So this is mg d plus x. The next one we consider the force, the spring act of force on this object. This force is up, do you agree, to hold this box. And then the distance it moved is just x. As we learned in previous, the force done by the spring is kx, agree? The force is kx, the distance is x, the work done by this spring is one half kx squared, and in the Opposite direction, so negative one. In this case, very easily you can find the change of kinetic energy is zero. So that makes it the network equals network. And the network comes from two parts, gravity and the spring. And then after we solve this equation, you can find very easily you can find the x, right? Now we can input the quantities inside. Very easily you find the work done by gravity. The 
velocity v2, and also we need to solve this equation to find the x, the distance compressed. Thank you.